How y'all doing today? Good. You trying to uh, audition for returner a little bit? Just trying to put the offense in the position to score, you know? I mean, I played offense in high school, so I got a little bit to me, a little juice. <clears throat> Um, when you have a, a game that starts with, or it doesn't start, but you know includes like whistles on a couple of holding penalties and, and things like that, and then the play that, that Tyron had mentioned that turned into the big play for CeeDee Lamb, how do you put all that aside and go out there and make more plays like you did throughout this game? Yeah, well, firstly, I'll praise to the most high um, and to those that came before me. Without them, you know, they kind of paved the way. But as far as having penalties getting called early in the game, you kind of just know it's a long game and to keep keep your same attitude, keep your same mindset. Some of those penalties, you know, they're kind of close, right? So you kind of adjust a little bit. Oh, maybe I should be a little bit less aggressive. But at the same time, some of that just comes with playing the game, especially the way that, that we try to play and be aggressive on receivers. How much pride do you take in your run backs? Seems like we've seen you a couple times over the last few years. <laughs> Probably ran 90 yards. To yeah, I mean, I think it's important to try to put the offense in, on a short field. Um, to be able to kind of capitalize on those turnovers and, and get points out of them. So, also, anytime I can show my speed, I feel like that's a plus for me. So, do you feel like you guys do a good job just like capitalizing on opportunities? You know, like when the ball's there, you make the play. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we I think we have a lot of great, um, great guys on the back end that can all play the ball and, and all have playmaking ability. So, that's something that we've kind of prided ourselves on as far as capitalizing and making the most of those opportunities when they do come. And what do you all think about Yul's plan with uh, CD Land today? Kind of outside of the one week play, kind of limiting his impact. Yeah, uh, you know, me and Ty had a, had a play that we wish we could get back, but I think overall we kind of stuck to what the game plan was and the game plan that our coaches put in place. And then, you know, we got guys like Kool Aid, you know, locking up. Um, and so shout out to him too for getting his first start and coming in and playing incredibly, which we knew he would. Um, but yeah, I think all together we just kind of stuck to the game plan. What's the confidence level right now in the locker room? I mean, the confidence level is, is always high. I mean, I, I think when we start to win games on the outside, you guys kind of get a, a feel, and I think y'all's confidence starts to, you know, increase or whatever. But I think within our team, going through training cramp, camp, going through spring training, we kind of have a, a feeling of how good we can be, and we're just trying to get better every week. Uh, what do y'all do? Uh, particularly well in the red zone today. I think they went 0 for 3, 3 trips on. Yeah, I mean, I think anytime you can you can create negative plays and kind of get get a team behind the sticks, that helps just playing hard, um, just defending every last blade of grass, which is what we like to say. Um, so even on the end of round, you know, I think Tay had a great play stopping that. And those plays, as, as far as when the offense gets into the red zone and you just keep making them play, one more play, one more play, one more play. And kind of, you know, T had said, bend, don't break mentality is just trying as hard as we can to keep them out. Just because you get down here, you know, doesn't mean you're guaranteed to score. So. Thank you. Perfect. Appreciate you.